So what we've done is we're working on a project where we have taken pictures of a coral reef that the previous classes had actually crocheted. And now we're going to take animals that our first grade class has made and have them swim through the crocheted coral reefs using puppet pals. It's a great idea, but it did take a little bit of doing to figure out the workflow for it. So what, I'm not sure why this just quit sharing on me, but we'll go ahead and turn that back on. So what we've done is the teachers have shot pictures and put them into box. So I'm downloading from box and I've got to get Jared's picture down and I can go save to library. And the other one that I need to take down is Jessica's. So we're going to save that to library. And then now that those are saved to library, we're going to go into the Puppet Pals app, Puppet Pals HD Director's Edition. Now it has to be the Director's Edition or the Director's, I think it's called Director's Edition because that allows you to do your own backgrounds. And that's important. So we're going to let this go ahead and do that for us. And we're going to press to start. Ask us to add an actor from a photo. And we're just going to... We're going to select choose existing image. And we're going to let it have access to our photos. And we're going to go into the camera roll here and those photos that we just took we're going to draw a little line around to help cut out the photo. Now I do this with a stylus um, because that allows me to be a little more accurate. I think the first graders are actually doing a better job with their scissors than I'm doing here with a stylus but that's close enough for what I'm doing here. We're going to add another one now, got to love all the detail work here, right? So we're going to go in and we're going to get the best we can with that. But obviously this tool is not quite as fine as I would like. And I may end up grouping some of these together just because there's very little other way to do it. Now the trick is you have to do this all in one move. If you draw if you let go of the line, it will completely drop your uh, drawing like that. And then you have to reject it. I'm going to go back this way. And once we get the individual character photos in, we're going to bring the background photos in. So I'm going to accept that. We're going to select those and we're going to say next. Adds us add background from image. Now we want to do that because last week we shot these amazing images of the crocheted coral reef. So I'm going to accept that. And then when we get another opportunity here, I'm going to go back through and I'm going to accept the next one. And I don't need to load all of them in there, but I do want to get at least four or five in there so the students can choose from the photos that they shot of the coral reef. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the characters and the background together. So now, if I select a couple of these backgrounds and click next, then I've got my two characters and they can swim around the coral reef and we can even change the background and what we're going to have the kids do is narrate information about their fish as they swim through the coral reef. So that ought to be fun, gives them a couple of different backgrounds to work with and allows them to record their voice and these images, which also creates a movie that's completely shareable because there's no student faces or school information on the movie. 
So that's how we prepped for this. Let's hope they turn out awesome.